Hello, my name is Chiara Giorgetti and I'm a professor of law at Richmond Law School and the chair of the Academic Council of the Institute for Transnational Arbitration. And in that role, it is a pleasure for me to welcome you to a new series organized by the Academic Council and meant to showcase the work of its members. This series is entitled, What I am Working On. So what am I working on? In the last few years, I focus on questions of ethics in international courts and, and, and tribunal, and especially to the ethical conducts relating to judges and arbitrators. In two recent publications, for example, that I co-authored with Professor Danoff of Temple Law School and published in the online section of the American Journal of International Law, I explore some of these questions, and I conclude that we that a code of conduct is desirable for um, judges and arbitrators in international adjudication. And I conclude that this code should be general and not specific to only one court. It should be mandatory and not represent only soft law. And it should be preferably implemented by treaty. More recently, I served as a scholar in residence at the Secretariat of ICSID in uh, Washington DC and I had the pleasure to work directly on drafting of the Code of Conduct for Adjudicators in international uh, proceedings and specifically in Investment State Dispute Settlement, ISDS. As a scholar in residence I researched and drafted background papers and I also drafted uh, draft provisions of the code to be discussed and for the attention of, um, of the ICSID Secretariat and, um, and ANSITRAL, who together have been mandated to drafting the code. The code has now been published. It was published in, on, on May 1st. And it's interesting because the code really contains um, most, if not addresses, most if not all of the thorny issues uh, that have been identified um, uh, for arbitrators uh, working uh, and adjudicators working in ISDS. More specifically, it addresses three important issues. The issue of the, the problem of issue conflict, the uh, possible the problem of um, multiple heading or um, double heading, and the issue of repeat appointments. Um, these are really three core and sensitive issues that have generated much debate in ISDS. These provisions, these issues, uh, have been addressed um, by the code. And for example, um, Article 5 addresses both repeat appointments and issue conflict. Um, and repeat appointments essentially raises concern um, that uh, an adjudicator who is repeatedly appointed uh, by the same council or by the same client, by the same party, or even by the same side, uh, may develop a dependence or an affinity um, with the nominating party and possibly became biased in its favor. Because a lot of bias is unconscious, it's actually the cons the, the, this concern is difficult to address. Um, so that repeat appointments really raises complex uh, issue, both, def uh, both of definition um, and, and of policy matters. The code addresses in a way to require as much um, disclosure as, um, as possible. Article 5 also addresses the, issue, the problem of issue conflict, which is another complex topic that has attracted criticism. Issue conflict is based on the apprehension that an adjudicator who has expressed views in publication or in speeches or in other awards and judgment has settled views on certain issues and thus may not have an open mind to, um, to decide and adjudicate uh, on a new case. Uh, in this case, also, the code requires an extensive, extensive disclosure by the arbitrators, by the proposed arbitrators, so that the parties can take full cognizance of what the situation is. Another significant issue addressed by the draft code is the issue of double heading. Um, and again, it's a complicated issue because there is no definition of what double heading is. In general, it refers to the practice of an adjudicator to simultaneously act, of course, in different proceedings, as arbitrator, as counsel, and as, as, as an expert 
um, and in other roles, and whether these should be uh, regulated um, as a matter um, as a matter of, of ethics uh, in the code. The code regulates that, and and um, uh, in, but but provides a bracketed text, and this is quite interesting because now that the code is out. Um, I'm looking at the dissemination of the code and the next phase um, um, possibly of my work um, and how the code would be received in practice. And as such as an academic, it has been a very valuable experience to put my experience, my, my expertise in practice um, in a topic that is such that is so important. I look forward to the development, to seeing the development of the code um, and, um, and see uh, where it will lead us. Thank you very much and, and uh, again, welcome to this series.